in the third session uh, we talked about Islamic capital markets and how it would differ from conventional capital markets and how uh, or rather why it is needed and essentially again the big argument is that you know resharing okay you need to have resharing instruments because as it stands now okay just about every few years uh, it used to be 10 years but now it's even less than 10 years you have a market crash somewhere okay and given the globalization of financial markets you have serious contagion across countries so in the last 20 30 years for example there's been one capital market crisis after another and if you go back and look at why this crashes okay why these downturns why is it that the system is so fragile uh, the reason the obvious answer is uh, leveraging too much debt excessive debt so in the first part of this presentation we talk about why that excessive debt came about it has a lot to do with the interest rate cuts the easy or accommodative monetary policies in the u.s and basically because the u.s is a major superpower uh, their interest rate cuts are oftentimes matched by the other big players i.e germany japan britain etc why because if an interest rate cut in the u.s is not reciprocated by these these other players then the british pound may appreciate or the Deutsche Mark or the euro may appreciate making effectively making uh, german exports and british exports and japanese exports less competitive vis-a-vis -vis american exports therefore an interest rate cut is often reciprocated by these other parties and the result is um, the u.s cuts rates the major players cuts rates and then open emerging market economies like malaysia singapore taiwan etc all of us also have to cut rates otherwise you have an inflow huge inflow of capital which again can be domestically destabilizing so what has happened as a result is uh, even though it was the policy of, of the US to cut interest rates, it's become a global phenomenon. So globally, interest rates are at historic lows. And the flip side of that is because the cost of interest, uh, the cost of debt has gone, up, gone down so low, there's been massive buildup in debt. And it's that buildup in debt that causes the uh, vulnerability and the crashes. So, Islamic finance and Islamic capital markets basically start with very little room for debt. Because the only real debt in Islamic finance is Karl Hassan, which is a beneficial loan. And the other kind of debt contract, if you will, is the Murabbaha, which is really uh, trade financing. So, if you go by Islamic principles, then basically there's no place for a big huge build up in debt and therefore uh, vulnerabilities etc so we get then get into this uh, some of the uh, requirements of the sharia okay about what is required for capital markets etc and uh, we show that resharing using resharing contracts can avoid a lot of the debt problems okay so that's basically the three sessions that uh, i've presented at iba Thank you very much.